Hey guys, so real quick, some of you have been asking what's inside the Switch dock. I figure very quickly, before I do the Joy-Cons, I would go ahead and break this guy down for you so you can see what's in there. Now, right away, I can see that there are a bunch of screws here, all tri-wing from what I could tell, so it looks like I'm just going to have to uh, take those ones apart there, and then hopefully this, I'm not sure how this works, I guess that pops out. Uh, I'm not sure, but we can we can go ahead and find out very quickly. It probably won't be a long video because it doesn't look like there's a lot to it. After I get those screws out, it looks like it just uh, opens up. Hopefully, so let me get uh, let me get these screws out. So, once I took the screws out, this whole thing just wants to kind of lift up. Kind of out of here. I'm trying to make sure it's not going to... Okay, yeah. Okay, the whole thing just wants to come out. This is just a cover, from what I can tell. And there's the real business right there. This is... This whole piece just comes right off. So, that's the entirety of the dock. It's actually a pretty small circuit board. There's not a ton going on there. Let me get the circuit board actually out, and we'll get some pictures of it. Oh, okay. Well, there's no... There's no screws that actually hold it down. Looks like it's clipped here, almost like a, like it pushes and clips. These screws that go through this plastic actually make up what holds it down. So let me get this ribbon cable off here, which I assume runs to that USB-C port on the bottom. Let's take a look. There we go. Just got to be careful bending these guys out of there. Not a problem, though. Careful with the ribbon cable, of course. There we are. She's out. And we have a plug-in. What are you for? Let me take a look. Anyway, there's our whole board. That's what's going on on the dock. Um, so it is an actual like uh, circuit board that's going on there. And again, I'll make sure you guys get some photos of that, which I'll take in a second. But it is a circuit board. Let me examine this real quick. USB is on the back. So that's our USB okay on the side for power it pulls it in does HDMI out I mean this is a full conversion board here what is that oh that's just running to the light okay so that's just um that's just that green light on the front there that lights up when you plug it in that's all that is just tells you it's active uh, yeah I mean it's a full conversion board so they are at least selling you something that is of value it's not just like a uh, like a piece of plastic in there and then like tiny, you know, cables or something. This is a full board. It converts USB-C power, USB-3, and then two USB-2s on the side there. It uses the ribbon cable for what I believe to be the USB... Oh. There's more screws. Let's go further. Okay, well, when those screws all came out, it pretty much tried to fall apart on me, but I grabbed it. This is the kind of the inside of the dock when it's like this. That comes off. And here is our USB-C connector. This is interesting because it looks like it's actually... Yes, okay, so it is loaded on like a spring mechanism here. Or when, uh, when your switch gets pushed down on it. So, huh, okay. I guess that, that way it protects it so the weight of the switch pushes it down and kind of locks it in. It runs through with a straight ribbon cable from the USB-C port, from what I can tell. Plugs into this board here on the bottom, which then runs it to USB 3.0 HDMI power, of course, runs through there, and then the USB 2 ports on the back. This is, of course, the light, which you can actually see the LED light here. 
What's interesting is I could probably just change that to a different color if I wanted to. We could probably make it red or blue or something. That's probably not even a very difficult, um, I'm trying to say, uh, LED to change. It looks like it's just surface mounted. Those are pretty straightforward. In fact, if somebody could come up with the LED ratings on that <clears throat> from maybe like a, uh, like a patent or something, we could easily change that with one that you could probably buy online. But it's interesting. I mean, it's a full mechanism for the, the spring loaded here on the bottom. Even the USB-C is on like a spring. Yeah, okay. So that, the whole point of that, I guess, is so that it has some give to it. Because even if I push this USB-C port, you might be able to see it. It has some some give to it. There's a there's a stronger spring underneath of that. So that's that's a good idea, actually. That's, that's actually not a terrible design. Huh. Well, I, that's all there is to this. I'm going to go ahead and put it back together real quick. And that's it guys there's actually more to this dock than i thought there was uh, i'm actually a little surprised with the spring loaded mechanism on the bottom for both the charge port and the actual like guide uh brackets for it that's actually really smart to put a usb-c connector that could possibly be damaged by someone on that spring loaded mechanism so it has the usb-c have some give to it as well uh honestly i'm shocked <laughs> i was can i was almost positive it would kind of be like a uh, very rushed very basic design but that is very clever so bravo nintendo on that um is it still worth 90 dollars? i don't know it comes with other stuff too so probably not <laughs> but you know what it it has an actual like custom circuit board in there that does convert everything so maybe that circuit board costs a little bit now maybe in the future it'll be less but i hope you guys enjoyed this tear down and this look at the dock inside and uh hope you guys are having fun with your switch today